number 83, first thing I have to do is make sure I am in the right mode. I need to go into degree mode because this is a degree here. So I'm going to go to angle, which is number 2, and then place it in the number 1 degree mode. Now I can just type in sine of 335 degrees. Not that big of a deal. Negative 0.4266, choice A. Cosine 65, it's still in degree mode, so I can just leave it. Cosine 65, I hope you know where these buttons are, you should. Cosine 65, that would be choice A also. <clears throat> log rhythm, these are kind of fun if you have to choose the right button. You want to choose this log base button. And then just plug it in like it looks. Put the 4 there, right arrow. And then you put in the 4096. And it squeezes out the answer pretty nicely. 6. <clears throat> no calculator, 7 plus 10 is 17. Negative 7 plus 4 is negative 3i. Let's see here, 17 minus 3i, 17 minus 3i, choice E. Find all the rational zeros. This is a tough one. I have to go to the table mode. So I'm going to hit menu and scroll down until I see the table mode. And then I have to type that in exactly like it looks. Okay, this is a process. So, X, Xbox, to the fifth, minus five, X, Xbox to the fourth. Whoop, I messed up. That's a down arrow. Now, minus five, X, Xbox to the fourth. Right arrow, down arrow, plus 11. X, Xbox to the third. Right arrow, bring it down. Um, minus 23, X squared. I just hit the X squared button on that one instead of the Xbox button. Just the X squared button. <clears throat> Plus 28X. Minus 12. Enter, enter. I'm going to start at the lowest one, which is negative 3, and then the highest one, which is 3. So I'm going to start at negative 3. I'm going to end at 3. And I'm going to step by 1. Now I'm looking for zeros over on the right as I scroll down. And there's a 0 at 1. So 1 is a 0. It says I'm looking for zeros, and 1 is a 0. Scrolling down again. And 3 is a 0. So my answer is 1, 3. Or 3, 1. Choice A. Again, no calculator needed. 7 plus 6 is 13. Negative 10 plus 8 is minus 2i. Choice B this time. This one I thought I was going to use a calculator one, but I have to use synthetic. And when it's a P number, you just plug that in. So it's going to be that same number in the backwards box. Put the coefficients. 5, negative 10, <coughs> multiply. Negative 8, add, subtract. 16, I multiplied, um, 13, I added, um, negative 26, negative 26, that's going to give me, negative 20 is my remainder, that's what I'm looking for. And there it is, choice C. Another synthetic, a lot of synthetic, <clears throat> and a P, I'm going to skip one. Calculator T in, notice, I have to go to normal menu now, so I'm going to hit menu 1. I'm just going to hit menu 1, and then I can do normal stuff. No negative radicals or anything, so I'm just going to type it in like it looks, parentheses, 7, minus, square root 2, you have to write arrow to get out from underneath the radical. Close parentheses, open parentheses, 8 plus root 2, 8 plus square root 2. You have to right arrow to get out from underneath the radical. See it flashing underneath the radical there? Well, I have to right arrow to get out from underneath that so I can close the parentheses. Hit equals, and it gives you the exact answer, 54 minus root 2. Choice B. You can practice with the other ones. The answers are on the back. <clears throat> Factory. Parentheses, 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 x, x, plus, minus, 3, 3. Choice C. Parentheses, 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 3x, 3x, plus, minus, 1 and 1. Choice C again. It's backwards. Parentheses, 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 1 times 1 equals 64. 8 and 8, 1 times 1 equals x squared, x and x, plus, minus. Choice A. Stare me in the face. <clears throat> 1 times 1 equals 25 x squared, 5x, plus, minus 8, choice C. Soap. Okay, I'm going to use soap for this one, 100. So I have x cubed plus, oops, I have x cubed minus, and the cube root, shift, square root, the cube root of a thousand is ten. Minus ten cubed. Now I'm going to use something called soap. I put a, a basic parenthesis and a larger parenthesis. Same, that's what the S stands for, so I drop that same symbol down there. O means opposite, and the AP means always positive. <coughs> the x just falls down, the ten just falls down. Now I'm going to deal with the front and the back. I'm going to deal with the front. And the back. What's x times x? What's 10 times 10? Now the middle, all I do is 10x. And that's soap. Let's see. Can't be choice A. Can't be choice B. It has a positive there. Choice C. Negative, positive, positive, negative, positive, positive. X, 10. X squared, 10x, 100. Choice C. <coughs> Last one. I'm going to use soap again. Cube root of 27. Let's see here. I hit shift. Square root. That's a cube root. 27. Cube root of 27 is 3. So here we go. This is going to be 3 
y the quantity cubed because 3y times 3y times 3y is 47 y cubed minus the cube root of 1 is 1 so I'm going to write that and I'm going to use soap again I call these dirty problems small quantity big quantity same that same sign falls down opposite the opposite of that goes here always positive goes in the back 3y falls down or 1 falls down now I'm going to deal with the front what's 3y times 3y what's 1 times 1 that's the back and in the middle is 1 times 3y and that answer choice is not a not b because it's plus I need to be minus first so it's not choice a or b Choice C is minus plus plus, but choice C, they brought the 27 down. Can't be that one. Choice D. Has to be choice D. The line is right up.